just hit Control Z to take you back to, excuse me, Control X to basically get your screen back to restart. Erase all, I'm back to my original screen. And now I'm just going to rotate just a little bit. I'm going to hit that middle mouse button, rotate just a little bit so I can see my top. I actually would like this to be just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to hit my S key, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay? Or I can actually scroll in or out, but I just want to make it a little bit bigger. And we're now ready to first make the first part of our Washington Monument. That's the tip, right? And that's going to be a pyramid. So what we want to do is hit the tab key. And what's the problem? Everything selected, right? So I want to hit the A key, get it off, everything. And now I just want to select each key, each little vertice at the top. Now there's a number of things I can do here. I could right click and hold down my shift key and right click and basically hold down another and select them all by right clicking. But I don't want to do that. There's a command that's called B. It's going to give me a box select. So I can hit B and then I can just draw a box around those and select them all at once. Why don't you try that? You see that? So you can select what vertices you want. This is what it's all about. See, I can actually stretch this higher just by grabbing this and now stretching that up and down. I can stretch it in this direction. Whoa! Now, let me show you a little trick here. If I'm in the process of doing something and I don't like what I've done, say I've got over here, I don't like that, and I still have my hand on the mouse, I can right click and it'll take me right back. Say I accidentally hit rotate and I was in the rotate mode and I rotated around. Excuse me, let me try that again. I went, oh boy, I don't like that. Just right click, it takes me right back as long as I haven't let go, okay? Now, so I have this right here, and what do I want to do? I want to bring those all to a point. So what key do you think I'm going to use? I'm going to use the S key. Absolutely right. You get an A plus for that, Lois. <laughs> so I had an S key, and boom, there it is. Okay, see what I've done? Everyone able to do that so far? Now, here's a problem. All my vertices are close to each other, but that's not what the Washington Monument looks like, right? They all come to a point. So what I want to do, I want to get rid of those vertices, or it says weld them or meld them together. So I waited that, I hit my W key, up come, comes the menu and item, and guess what's in there? Merge. See that? I'm going to click the Merge button, hit At Center, it's going to throw away three of those vertices and everything's going to go to one. Ta-da! And I'm merged. And I have a beautiful pyramid. Isn't it a wonderful day? All right. And guess what? You're just about ready to build your Washington. You're almost done with the Washington Monument, believe it or not. Okay, I want, I want to show you one more trick uh, before we move on with the box selection. If you hit B twice really fast, well, not really fast, but just twice, you get a, a, a kind of a painter uh, vertice. You can paint the vertices you want to select. And so you can just roll over here, and as you hold this down, it just starts selecting whatever you roll over. You see that? So you can actually get in there and do some uh, more fine selection. Uh, I'm going to actually get off of that. Okay, and now we're ready to build our monument. And I want to show you a figure down here that's really important. You see this right here? These little dots, line, triangle, and full figure. You see that? Guys, take a look real quick. These dots mean, let me show it over here. Right there. Those dots mean vertices. Those lines mean edges. And those, see that little uh, triangle there? Means polygon or face. These are the most important items in building or box modeling. So if I hit a vertice, that means I can select a vertice. You see that? If I hit an edge, that means I can select an edge. And if I hit a face, that means I can select, guess what? A face. Okay? So what it's meaning is if I hit a vertice, let's go to ver back to vertice, and I right-click on that, that means what I'm doing is I'm deforming that vertice. You see that? If I hit an edge... Let's click on an edge. That, what that means is, of course, I'm deforming that edge. See that? And if I hit... How do we get those Right here? That's tab. Tab for edit mode. And if I want to uh, extrude a surface, then I can right-click on that. Uh, excuse me. Oh, let's go. I'm trying to get on the right one now. It's being kind of funny. There you go. And I can actually work with that 
polygon surface. Now, that's very important to know. Especially when we're going to build, hit the A key just to get everything deselected. We're going to build our, the, the second part of our Washington Monument. I'm with the right key, excuse me, control Z. I'm going to hit the uh, shift pan to pan up a little bit. I'm going to pan that back a little bit. I'm going to rotate the surface toward me just a little bit so I can see the bottom side. And I'm going to hit that uh, polygon selection tool right there. And I'm going to actually right click on that inner surface. See, I selected that. Do you have a selection that looks like that? that? And now I'm going to tell you one of the most important commands in all of 3ds Max. It is the extrude command, and you accomplish by hitting the E. So as soon as you hit E, let me get back on my figure. I'm on it. You can extrude. See there? There's my monument. All right. And then click to get off of that. I want to pan back a little bit. I want to uh, shift my middle mouse and push up. And now I can just basically grab this uh, translation arrow and translate my monument down. Ta-da! Now, the monument is not the same size all the way down, right? It gets fatter, correct? So what key do you think I'm going to hit to make it fatter? Size. Size. The S key. Hit the S key and just stretch it out. Ta-da! You just made the Washington Monument. I'm going to go around and see how you guys are doing. Okay, now that you've made the Washington Monument, you want to save it. And this is a really weird looking in Blender. It's not like what you see in other, other applications. Though it's not any different. It just shows the menu item kind of in a Linux-like looking environment. So if you come along and go File, and go Save, or Save As, you get a menu that looks like this. <laughs> and you go, oh my god, <laughs> you know, what is this? So you can come up here and click on this and go, oh, you can put it on the C drive. Oh, this is just, this is just my, my drive. I can put it on my desktop if I want to. And I just give it a name, and I call Washington Monument or WM. And then you can just save it. And it saves it. And uh, if we don't see it, that means it didn't save right. That means it, it did not save right. That's correct. You have to hit the Save As button that comes at the upper right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me try that again. Mine didn't show up, so I must have done something wrong. Let's go ahead and Save As. Uh, I, want to, I want to put that on the, the desktop. We'll call it Washington Monument or Wash M. So it's got to have the M, it has to have the uh, blend dot blend uh, uh, last four. Save as. And hopefully, and there it went that time. I, I can see it right now. Here it is on my desktop uh, with that Blender yes. logo. And then you just file, to open it, you just hit File Open. And make sure you're on the desktop. And there's my Wash Mon. You just click on that and it'll come right up. So it's really, in a sense, when you first see this menu, it, oh my goodness, this is really scary. But it's exactly like your other menu. It's kind of set up different. I'm going to come help you real quick here, Roxanne.